Now give it up for one of New Zealand's top local exports, it's Melanie Bracewell! a boyfriend <laughs> that wasn't a joke um, no I, it's, it's great it's great having a boyfriend because I was getting very desperate um, <laughs> like I got I used to get really easily attached like a guy would send me one text I'd be like what are we <laughs> he'd be like I'm your uber driver I'm outside <laughs> I'm like oh you've got a car sort of stuff but I, lo I love my boyfriend he's amazing but he he is a nerdy little loser um, <laughs> but I love him I love that about him right like I'll give you an example we we just moved to Australia we're on the plane about to arrive in Melbourne I see he's using the like plane Wi-Fi he's searching the phrase in Google Australian singles I'm like what is this bastard up to we haven't even arrived yet. He's trying to cheat on me in advance, you know? So I pried, I was like, what are you doing? Why are you searching that? He was like, oh, I see. I'm trying to find a website in which I can buy single Yu-Gi-Oh trading cards. I was like, oh, that's so much worse. I wish he was cheating, you know? would have been easy to explain to my parents. <laughs> it's, good. It's, been, it's been good being back here in New Zealand. I was hanging out with my friend recently. He's, I, he's also great, but he's, he's a chronic mansplainer, right? If you, if you don't know what mansplaining is, I guess ask a guy. Uh, <laughs> but he's, it's when, you know, guys explain things that you might already know, right? We're having lunch, and I was telling him about how I went to that stationery shop typo, you know, that, like, that shop that's like warehouse stationery for basic bitches. <laughs> you know where you get those notepads that say stuff like, eat, sleep, repeat. <laughs> and you're like, that sounds like depression. <laughs> you need more than a notepad, you know. Uh, so I was telling him, I was like, oh yeah, I went to Typo, and he went, <clears throat> excuse me, I think you mean Topol. flabbergasted, you know. I sat there in stunned silence. I like respected it, I respected the confidence. I was like, I wanna bottle that confidence, sell it as like a chemist warehouse fragrance, you know. Anyway, I didn't find anything at Typo, I had to go to Fit Cools. Um, <laughs> Last, last time I was here in New Zealand, it was, um, my sister was getting married and um, I was in charge of like, organizing her hen's do, right? And I couldn't find, I couldn't find penis straws anywhere. <laughs> Ladies, you know this, right? At hen's do's, yeah, we get these straws with little penises on the end. Not the whole straw, we're not unrealistic. <laughs> Just the tip, you know. <laughs> we drink, we go, oh, drinking a little penis, you know, it's a bit of fun. I don't know what guys do at stag nights, you know. You couldn't have clitoris straws, you'd never find them. <laughs> Rifling through the ice. <laughs> Where did it go? Um, hasn't moved, you know. It more I'm like it makes sense you know we're getting rid of straws in general it makes sense that the penis straws are going along with that you know like it's one thing to kill a turtle with a regular single use <laughs> plastic straw two of the penis you're really rubbing it in you're quite literally f the environment <laughs> but there's no alternative you know you can't get paper penis straws then they go soft in your mouth. <laughs> Feel like you've done something wrong, you know? <laughs> Every time you take a sip, you're like, is it me? <laughs> but it makes sense, because a lot of the penises I've encountered have been single use. Uh, 